Hi there. Welcome to Crunch Pick Your Spot Pilates. My name is Ellen, and I've designed three workouts for you that target your belly, buns, and thighs. With Pilates, we don't need a lot of time to get amazing results. A few things I want to cover before we get started. Breathing is central to Pilates. The breath is ideally in through the nose and out through the mouth. And it should always remain calm, even if we pick the pace up. And it also complements the movement. So the movement and the breath are one and the same. The second concept is that of the powerhouse. The powerhouse is one word that describes all of our core muscles. In Pilates, we constantly pull in, engage, and connect to our powerhouse. So when we're working our thighs or our buns, we're still focusing a bit on our abdominal area and our core powerhouse. Lastly, if you're new to Pilates, keep your eye on Betsy. She'll be modifying many of the exercises. We want you to get the best results possible. So we're thrilled you're joining us. Let's get started. Let's begin by holding right underneath our thighs and gently rolling the back to the floor. Head drops and it's comfortable. Bring your feet a good comfortable distance from your body and relax your hands by your side. Imprinting is first. So start by pressing your rib cage down, lifting your hips towards your rib cage so your back pushes towards the ground on an exhale and then inhale and release. Exhale and squeeze, narrowing the gap between your hips and your rib cage, and then release. And do it twice more. Now imprinting is a foundation for a lot of other exercises we'll be doing today. So really get the feeling that you're squeezing, stabilizing, and pulling in that powerhouse. One more time. Exhale, squeeze, pulling it down. Inhale and release. Great. Now hands behind your head, elbows are wide, chin stays off the chest, and continue that imprint with an exhale and then neck pull, lengthening your head up to the ceiling. Inhale at the top, exhale and lengthen, roll your body back down and relax on the floor. Exhale, squeeze, imprinting, lengthening your neck, inhale at the top, exhale, lower, drop your head down and relax. Good, exhale, lengthen. This should feel so great on your neck and lower down. It's a nice little stretch for your neck as well as a real tightener prep move for our abdominals. Exhale, lengthen up, breathing in at the top. Exhale, lower down, drop the head and relax. Great. Now open those arms overhead and bring your knees so they stack directly over the hips. The 100 prep prepares us for the 100. We pull those abdominals in, especially the lower ones. So from here, extend your arms out and your legs long with an exhale, and then inhale and release. If you're following Betsy, keep your knees bent. Let's do three more. Exhale and press. Inhale, release. Exhale and crisp, strong, bold move and release. And stay up on this one. Exhale and press. Now shoulders stay away from those ears. The hundred. Crisp straight elbows. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. This is such an awesome one for really firing up, strengthening that core. You'll feel it in the lower and the upper abdominal area. Do your best. Keep going. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Great. And again, Betsy's knees are bent, and that just makes it a little less challenging. Still a great workout for those abdominals. Great. One, two, three, four, five. Last set right here. In, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, and rest. Awesome. Drop your head and relax side to side. You should have noticed that you really fired up your abdominal there. Now come back up, lifting your head, imprinting your core, and take your opposite hand on your opposite knee and extend your front leg nice and long. Single leg stretch. We emphasize that straight, stretched out leg. And let's just switch how we gently caress the knee. It's not grabbing or tugging at all. If you want to take it a little less challenging, follow Betsy and bring your legs up a little bit higher towards the sky. Here we go up to tempo. It's exhale, exhale, 
inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Extend your knee. And remember, the more parallel to the floor, the harder this is. Great. Whew. Reach, reach. Last time, right here. Great, and drop down and relax that neck and shoulders. Again, notice how tight and pulled in those abdominals are here. Now the knees stay glued together, open your wings way out to the side and feel as though your shoulders are pinned to the floor. You always have the option of keeping your feet on the floor and following Betsy. Now inhale, drop your knees away for that knee drop and exhale, pulling back to center. The exhale really helps this movement. Breathing in, exhale, pulling back together. Be very smooth and fluid here. This should feel like a stretch and then strength pulls those knees up to the top. Dropping down, shoulders stay on the floor and pull back to center. This should feel so nice. Take your time, inhale and gently exhale, pulling back together. Inhale and squeeze and pull. Let's do one more. Inhale away, keeping those shoulders on the floor. Exhale and pull back to center. And last time, inhale away. Exhale and pull back to center. Now that same area right here along the sides is what you're gonna feel in the crisscross, which is coming up right now. So hands behind your head, lift your head and shoulders up, imprint your core, and extend your front leg long. Now the crisscross, we cross with an exhale and then slowly cross. And we take it at a nice, even pace. Here we go. Exhale, exhale, keep breathing. This is so great for those little obliques along the waistline. You got it. Exhale, exhale. Awesome, last two. Last one, and drop down. Great, shake your head side to side. Woo, you should feel it all along the side and in your abdominal metal, middle. Extend your arms up, lengthen your legs long, breathe in, stretch, lengthen. It feels as though you're the rope in tug of war, getting pulled in opposition. Okay, gently release and roll over onto your side. Prop your body up on your forearm, and Bets is gonna keep her hips down, so you always have that option. Bend your knee and hoist those hips up. Your belly's pulled in, that powerhouse is engaged. Extend your arm out. This is the twist. We don't need many to get a really, really awesome ab work out. So squeeze, exhale all the way through. Inhale, come all the way up. Very fluid, very smooth. Exhale and squeeze. Try to go slightly underneath your body and come all the way up. Make sure you're not sinking into your base shoulder. You're staying nice and tall and light. And one more time. Exhale, pull that navel in, squeeze around, and come all the way up to the top, and gently release, great. Now bend both of your legs to your right and extend your arms out to the side. This is the mermaid. It's stretch and strength together. So stand nice and tall, and gently inhale, opening and stretching on the way down. Exhale here on the floor, and now open up, and without pushing off, let your muscles return you to center, and you stretch over the top. Great. Inhale big, exhale and stretch. Inhale all the way up, grab onto your ankle, really squeeze yourself up there and stretch. Inhale and fold. Open up, strength to return you up to the top and stretch. Last time guys, this looks great. Open all the way up and fold. And just hold it here, just take a moment and really stretch your side body out. So nice, breathing well. Drop your arm down and let's bring our legs to the other side. So bring both your legs towards your left and bring yourself down onto your side. Remember, hips always can stay down if you'd like that. You're up on your forearm, bend your bottom knee and hoist those hips up. Already you feel that powerhouse engaged. Arms are up and we twist. Exhale through, squeezing out all that air. Inhale all the way up to the top. Exhale and through. Inhale and up. Twice more. Exhale, squeezing through. Inhale all the way up. One more. Exhale through and slowly up. 
Great. Lower your hip, drop down, and just bend your knees in and sit upright. Shoulders are low. Extend your arms out. Really press the scapulas down your back. And let's do the mermaid. So we inhale, big stretch. Fold with an exhale. Open back up and come up without pushing off the floor and stretch. So nice. Inhale, exhale, and fold. Come all the way up. Grab onto your ankle, reach up, and stretch. Two more. This is a great example of the stretch and the strength at the same time in one movement. Breathing and stretching. Last time, guys. Inhale, exhale, and fold. And open up. Grab hold of that ankle, stretch, and just stay here for a moment just to accentuate that long area through the torso. Great, and gently release. So we're taller, longer, one more exercise. Bring yourself to a nice seated position in the middle of your mat. Hands behind you, fingertips point towards a little diagonal. Your elbows bend, but your shoulders don't float around, so keep them down away from your ears. And then gently lift your knees off the floor. Betsy's gonna keep her feet on the ground on this. So it's called the can-can, three exhales and one inhale. So bring your knees to your right, then your left, then your right, and extend strong. Awesome. Exhale, 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 inhale. Two more times, you're doing great. This is a real strong one. Last one, exhale, exhale. Great work, and extend, nice. Come to a nice comfortable position, crossing your ankles, back is straight. Roll your shoulders back. You should feel a tightened, pulled in abdominal powerhouse area. Inhale nice and big. Exhale and release. We've totally worked our core in 10 minutes. Great job. All right, let's get started. Bring yourself down to all fours. Square off your knees so they're directly underneath your hips and your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. Your back is flat like a tabletop. Exhale for a cat stretch and round your head down and your tailbone and then return to that tabletop flat back. And again, exhale round. This is just sort of warming up the spine for all the exercises to come. Last one, exhale round. Feel how nice it is to move the spine and then release and form that flat back. Good, now keep that tabletop and extend your right arm and your left leg. This first one, just sort of feel your center, thumbs are up and we really extend so your glute and your buns are really tightening up and then release and switch, left arm, right leg and extend, great. And let's just take it a little faster, inhale as we reach, exhale as we lower, inhale as we reach, extending, exhale lower, inhale and reach, exhale lower. Inhale, really squeeze your buns right there, and then release. One more on each side. Lift up and drop down. Left arm, right leg, extend. Really work your bun, and then release. Nice job. Bring yourself all the way down to your belly. Now this next exercise is swimming. Betsy's gonna do a slower version of opposite arm, opposite leg. The rest of us are going to hoist all four limbs up off the floor. Elbows are straight, and we flutter. Four exhales, four inhales. Both our arms and legs move. Here we go. It. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Really focus on your knees staying straight down to the floor. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. This looks great. Feel the reach, feel the tightness in your glutes. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last set. Really nice, and relax, great job. Just drop down and turn your head towards me and watch this next exercise one time first. It's called the double leg kick, and it requires our hands to go right behind, interlaced. We inhale, lifting the chest, and the forehead goes to the floor, and we point and flex. As we lift, our glutes really tighten up. Betsy's gonna keep her hands here, so you always have that option. Ready guys? Here we go. Interlace those hands and we lift up, 
forehead down. Point and flex. Inhale. Point, flex. Lift. Point and flex. Open your chest. Point and flex. Feel the squeeze in your chest. Point and flex. Lift. Point and flex. Last one. And point and flex and relax. Great job. Now pick yourself back up to all fours, pulling your navel in. It's important that we have the stability on these next exercises. So extend your right leg long for leg circles. Point your toe, a really crisp circle the size of a dinner plate, going in towards the body first. Here we go. It's eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, other direction, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Bend that knee, extend the left leg long, pointing your toe, working those buns in towards the body first. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and reverse. Eight, seven, really reach it. You got it. Here's four, three, two, and one, and release. Great job. Already feeling those glutes. Now walk yourself out to the plank. Betsy's gonna keep one knee bent for the leg pull down. So navel's pulling up, lift your right leg up and flex that heel extra strong. We pull down like there's a pulley attached to the ceiling. Here we go. Pull, lift, pull, and four more. Three, two, and one. Great, and switch. We don't need many to get a workout here. Here we go. Six, five, pull down. You got it. Last two and one and relax. Bend your knees, pull your navel in, and sink back into the shell stretch. Relax. Great. Okay, let's bring ourselves up onto our side for sideline bicycle. Prop your head up with your hand and just bend slightly to the front for a bit more foundation. Top leg lifts, hip distance. It's called the bicycle because we resemble that pedaling in a bicycle. So keep that groove. You're going in front of your body and in back of the body. Here we go. Breathe in, breathe out. Five more, four more, and push. Three, and push. Two, squeeze your buns, and now reverse, other direction. Push back, as if you're going back in that bicycle. Four more, three more, and two, and squeeze. Great work, guys, and relax, and let's go on to the other side. Same thing, bicycle. So your head's propped up. You've got a bit of a bend here. Your top hand's here for support. Here we go. Breathe in and push. Five more and back. Four, push. Three, keep that core solid. Two, really nice. Other direction, back pedal. It, push and pull. Squeezing that glute really strong right there. Last three. Last two, last one, and relax. Excellent. Roll onto your back now for the next exercise, which is a bridge. Extend your front leg up and flex it. Now, if you have hamstring tightness, just keep your knee bent like Betsy. Hands are down by our side, and we exhale, lifting the hips up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, lower the hips down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, lift up, inhale at the top, exhale, lower down, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, lift up, inhale at the top, lower down, inhale at the bottom. Four more, feel that floor push away, exhale down, breathe in at the bottom. Three more, push the floor away, breathe in at the top, lower down, and relax, two more. This looks great, really squeeze that bottom glute, lower down and release, last time. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, nice. Plant that foot, lengthen the other leg and we're gonna do it on this side. So flex your toes, heels up really strong and here we go, we squeeze. Exhale, inhale at the top, 
Exhale down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, hold. Lower, rolling down. Inhale, hold. Five more. Squeeze it up. Breathe in. Roll it down with control. And breathe in. Great. Squeeze, feeling it right in your glutes. And lower, rolling down. And release. Three more. Exhale up. Inhale, lower down, and release. Last two. Feel as though you're stamping the ceiling with your footprint. And lower and roll yourself down. One more time. Squeezing up, make it great. And slowly lower yourself down and release. And now cross that top leg over the other thigh and pull in for a really great, well-deserved stretch. Breathing and holding. Nice work. And now switch, other leg crosses over, pull in and feel that stretch. It should feel so wonderful. Great, really feel the stretch all right here. Nice. And now just gently cross your ankles and roll yourself up to a nice seated position. Back is tall and we just did it. We really worked our buns. Great job. All right, we're on to our thighs. So just gently roll yourself onto your back and pull your knees into your chest. We're gonna start with charging up those legs just to get a bit of circulation and heat. So from here, just gently lengthen up, try to fully extend, and then bend back down. And this is really preparing us for all those exercises to come. So just do your best and enjoy this range of motion. Lengthen straight up and bend it down. Great, let's open the knees wide and do it again. Lengthen out and bend it in. Nice. It should feel great. Really fluid and smooth. Last one. Lengthen it up and bend it in. Great. Now pull those knees in and lengthen your legs up. We're going to start off with open and close. This is a great exercise for those outer thighs and inner thighs. Betsy will be keeping a bit of a bend in her knee, which is fine. I'm going to have a straight knee, which is also Fine. So point your toes, relax your shoulders, and open with an inhale. Flex the heel and close with an exhale. Point and open and flex and close. It's a fluid movement and it's really smooth, smooth, smooth all the way to the end. And we try to get as big a range as we can. So point and just make sure you're going as far apart as you can there and flex and squeeze together. Point, inhale. Flex, exhale, and squeeze together. We're halfway there, point open. Flex and squeeze together. Point and open, flex and close. Really good. The pointing and the flexing just accentuate the movement. Two more, point and open, flex and close it. One more right here. Make it strong, point open, flex and close. Great job. Now keep those legs up there and point them for the ballet crisscross. The front leg's gonna cross front first and we exhale twice, inhale twice, keeping a nice strong leg. Here we go, it's exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. You got it, good. Really control it, the feet never hit each other, Cross, 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 cross. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last set and release. Great, pull those knees in. Take your hands on your knees and just wiggle your toes for a moment. The next exercise is the frog. So it resembles a frog. So bring your head and shoulders up and your hands behind your head. Betsy's gonna keep her head down as a modification. Open those knees wide and click your heels together and really flex all five of your toes. But from here, we push out as if we're holding a penny right between those knees. And then inhale and release. Exhale and press. Lots of energy out the heel. And press and in. And press and in. If you're feeling a bit challenged at your core, kick a little bit higher towards the ceiling. Five more, and in. 
press, really squeeze. I love how this is wrapping around. You should feel that tight squeeze thigh at the end. Press and in. Last one, press it and in. Drop your head and shake side to side and wiggle those toes. Breathe. Great, just feel the stretch. And just sort of release your back and relax here with a nice breath in and gently release it out. Good. Okay, we're moving on. So just bring yourself onto your side facing us and prop your head up with your hand. Your hips are stacked. Just take a little bend at the hip just for a bit more foundation on this first exercise, which is called the front kick. Remember to stabilize that powerhouse and then relax your neck and shoulders. Top leg lifts. This is gonna work the front and back of our thighs. So flex, exhale, two front kicks. Shh, shh, point and open to the back. Flex, flex, point open. Flex front, point back. Flex front, point back. Really squeeze your abdominals in here and feel that back of the thigh and the front of the thigh. Front and back, front, Front. Good job, guys, and release. Nicely done. And just bring yourself to a straight line. So from your toes to your head is a straight line. For leg lifts, so point to the front, knee stays straight. We point lift, flex at the top, and draw the heel to the back. Point lift, flex front. If you see, this range of motion is really big. It's all about working every muscle fiber in your thigh. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down, lift, lower, lift, lower. Here's three more sets. Really good. Point and flex and point and flex. Last set right here. It's up and down and up and release. Nicely done. Drop your head all the way down, relaxing it to the floor for a leg beat. Now, from here, we're gonna focus on the bottom inner thigh. So take your top leg up, kneecap points up to the ceiling, and the bottom leg, heel leads the way, and we squeeze up for eight. Lift and lower. Try not to move your top leg. Squeeze, release. Lift, lower. Four more. Three, two, and one, and relax, good. Now that same muscle, we're gonna hone in a little bit more. So take your top leg and just bend it across your body. Be sure that your hips stay stacked. The bottom leg lifts, the inner knee faces up to the sky, circling that leg to the back. Here we go. Eight, squeeze it. Seven, six, five, four, and three, two. And let's go the other direction. Nice and strong and crisp. Great job. Six more. Five and four, three, lift and one. Awesome. Relax, lengthen it out, and let's bring it to the other side. Great job. So bring yourself all the way down with your head propped up, relaxing first to the floor, and then take a bit of a bend for the front kick support. Pull the navel in, and remember, we're feeling it in the front and the back of the thigh. Here we go. Flex, exhale, go further, point open. Flex, flex, point open. Flex, flex, point open. Exhale, exhale, open. Four more, this looks great. And three, and back, shh, shh. Last one, flex, flex and open, great job. Relax and just straighten your body out into that long line for the leg lifts. Remember to try to keep your knees straight. Here we go, point to the front. And lift, flex, touch behind. Point, lift, flex in front. Lift, flex behind, lift. You got it. Point up and down, point up and down. Point and flex, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, three more, you got it. Focus on that strong, crisp, bold movement. One more set, front, point, flex, and lift, and release, nice. Drop your head all the way down. 
feeling that top leg a lot at this point. Lift your top leg and turn the knee up towards the sky, hands back in front for support, and only the bottom leg moves for leg beats. Here we go. Eight and lower. Try to get all the way up to that top heel. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. Four more. Three, really squeeze it. Two and one and release, great. Take your top knee and just bend it in front. Be sure that your hips stay stacked. Keep that navel pulling in, circling the inner thigh, so that exact area we just worked. So point your bottom toe and circle towards the back. Eight nice compact circles and squeeze and lift. Great, keep going, feeling those inner thighs here. You got it, last two. And now reverse direction. Eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Excellent. Wiggle your toes and just pick yourself all the way up and sit on your mat and let's stretch. So straddle as wide as you comfortably can with your knees straight and a nice neutral foot. Reach your left arm up and twist and just throw yourself forward over that leg. Keep your hips down and just stretch out that hamstring. Good. Really make sure you feel that stretch. It's important because we worked it, so we want to stretch it out so it looks great. And then gently walk it up and lengthen up to the sky with your right arm. Twist over and go over your left leg. Keep those hips down and breathe. Good, feel that stretch. You might even feel a stretch in your back and that's fine. Great, gently walk yourself up, bring your feet together and one last stretch. Breathe up and extend over both legs and relax. Now you should be feeling a nice long stretch to the back of your thigh. Nice. And just gently walk yourself up. Cross your ankles, take a nice strong breath up and keep that tall back as you release down. We did it, we seriously tightened and toned our thighs and in only 10 minutes. Now, you can do one, two, or all three of these segments for a terrific Pilates challenge. Keep up the excellent work.